We've only just begun was on that album. Uh, some people have heard how it was written. Do you mind telling it again or how it, was, how it came to be and how Richard Carpenter found it? Because this is fascinating, guys. Go ahead, Paul, please. Well, I was writing with Roger. Besides an album cuts, we were constantly on. We, we had amazing success, but nothing on the radio. We had we didn't think we were ever going to hear our songs on the radio. We wrote songs that were recorded by so many people as a B-side. I had the B-side of Delta Dawn. I had the B-side of I Am Woman. I had the B-side, you know, right down the line. But we weren't getting we weren't getting the the A side cuts. I was asked to write this this song for a commercial for a bank, and I was like, I don't want to write a bank commercial. Come on, I mean, I'm come on, yeah, come on. Let's you know, David. I'm Roger getting said, B. I'm getting B sides, man. What, what, yeah, why why yeah, would I yeah. want to do that? <laughs> Roger, well, Roger just said there's a there's a fee for writing it. And I went, let's write this commercial. Let's write this probably, you know. Ding. I sang it on the commercial. Roger Roger, and I both sang it, but I sang the lead on the commercial. And that was, we thought it was done. And it was done until we get a phone call from, from Richard, who says, I just saw this commercial and I think I recognize Paul's voice. Is is there a full version of that song? Ah. And, you know, we would if, if there wasn't, we would have said yes and had it done by the next day. Sure. Of course I ride a, a horse. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So, so exactly, exactly. And anybody that's auditioned for a movie, of course I roller skate. Of course I go. <laughs> yeah. So you, so you got busy and did it, right? Well, the, the fact is that that it was sung by an angel. Mm -mm. You know, this was not. We've only just begun. Was I don't think it was a hit song at all. I huh. think that 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 it was sung by an angel and touch something in everybody it certainly did it was not at the, the time the number one album was i think in agata de vida you can't get any further away from an agata de vida than we've only just begun but it touched people's hearts and she could sing anything and 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 it was just it was like air it was like it was like a box of emotions in a batch of tunes when she sang a song and just you know, I've never said that before, but it's a fair description of what it was like to have oh a carpenter sing one of your songs.